lower steps of the lower steps of Cold Mountain. We're gonna go back up there in the woods and uh, do some filming. snowing. I'm over here at Spencer's house, my co-host. I'm waiting on the film crew to get here and the producers. Saturday we're going to go see some site locations. Probably Monday we're going to start filming on the show, Secrets of the Mountain People. Once the filming got started though, I realized how enormous of a job it was to film a network television production. And you can see by the group inside this room here that there's just a dozen people in there working all at the same time. Some of them were processing files, some of them were working on camera equipment. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, we had a props department that they were, you know, Processing, putting props together, helping us guys build some of the projects, you know, so, you know, some of the parsley, just to help the program along. So it was just a busy, busy beehive of activity. And the camera equipment, some of the cameras were just absolutely huge, like this 3D camera that you're looking at right here. This thing was a monster, but oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe how awesome the footage is that comes from this camera. Yeah, it's a 3D camera and it just films in ultra, ultra high quality HD. And, uh, it was kind of like the precursor to the 4K cameras. This camera was in use right before the 4K cameras came out. And so at the time it was cutting edge technology. These handheld 3D cameras that you're looking at right here, at the time that we were using them, they were the first of their kind. They were, you know, they were brand new and cutting edge, and there had never been anything like that before. And so our TV show was experimental in a lot of ways, especially with the camera equipment that they were using. And so that makes the show that I was involved with really, really special. And this is what professional recording equipment looks like. And I've got a smaller uh, professional version of the same thing, but it's, you know, not not quite as heavy duty as this one. As you can see, it can do up to six channels. You have up to six microphones running into it. And I have a set of the Dutch team microphones to do my YouTube videos. So yeah, being involved in a TV show is the greatest thing. You know, we, we did so much stuff and there was such a, a huge crowd of people that we needed to do all the work to make the show happen that it's just baffling almost. Spencer and I had to face some of the most difficult challenges 
that we were ever confronted with with the TV show because we had to design build ideas ourselves and then we had to actually pull it off in front of the camera so it was very stressful very challenging uh, to do that and we made 59 episodes of the show we were on for five seasons yep five full years and we did 59 episodes of the show so that's a lot of really really hard work on all of our behalf to pull that off and i mean they had us doing everything from uh, skinning deer and preparing meat to making pemmican to building apple grinders out of uh, uh, wood choppers, you know. So I mean, we just oh, we had so many, so many difficult challenges to face, and you know, we made it through it one day at a time. And you know, these photos that I'm showing you, are, you know, just memories of. Uh, some of those challenges, you know, like like building the gem mining sluice, you know, for getting the gold and the precious gems. And that was a really, really fun episode, but it was so hard because we actually had to hike up into the mountains to that creek and then do the filming there. So it was extremely difficult. And every once in a while we could cut loose and have some fun, like the day Spencer and I got a hold of a 300 Savage sniper rifle and we got to shoot off a few rounds. Boy, what a lot of fun that was. But before we were allowed to do anything like that, we, we had to get training first. I mean, seriously, we had to we had to be trained and then after we were trained, we still did our explosives and all that stuff under the supervision of a, a trained expert like the uh, log issue or the yeah the the log episode that we did you know the issues with that using a real dynamite so yeah we blasted some logs out and, uh, yeah we really did it but you know we did it with the under the supervision of, of an expert uh, you know demolitions person so it was a lot of fun but it was you know serious work and you know a lot of a lot of things were at stake and everyone's safety was always a concern you know so we really had to accommodate for that so now in the current day that I try to bring you the same quality of uh, video on YouTube that we were trying to give you with the TV show, you know. So I put a lot of effort into my videos now. And I was really fortunate, Spencer and I both were really fortunate to have such close contact with the technology, you know, the, the camera equipment, and, uh, the computers and everything that supported making the TV show you know, we had direct access to witnessing all that stuff being used and, uh, we were able to ask questions about any of it and, you know, I, just, I, I learned so much about the whole entire field of TV making and, uh, 3D TV and everything so that, I mean, it, was just, it was a really exciting time I walked away with it with a valuable education so it's a pleasure for me to bring this video to you and to show you some of the memories that I had while making a TV show. These are, you know, all photos and videos that I took, you know, during the filming process. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to be able to share this with all of you folks. So the ram pump episode and the gem mining episode. It's probably my favorite episode of all the episodes that we did. It was one of the hardest things we had to do because we had to hike everything by hand up into the mountain to go and do this episode. But once we got up there and started filming, it was just the greatest time ever. And, you know, looking back on these memories here, it's just, I have just it's such a, you know, fond memory of doing that episode right there. I, I wish I could go back and do it again. And, yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm really happy to be able to share this with you folks.
Yeah, all the dramatic views that we incorporated into our show were all carefully planned. You know, every vision like this photo you're looking at right now, you know, we purposely selected those areas for the, you know, to get the most beauty out of it. And then we did these extreme build ideas, you know, like the stump grinder and the, the field mower truck. And yeah, Spencer and I really put a lot of effort into coming up with the ideas for those episodes and those were our ideas I mean we, we we designed that TV show I mean it was truly ours so uh, you know Spencer and I put a lot of really really hard work in the pulling off the hillbilly blood TV show I certainly hope you folks have enjoyed watching this video uh, I tried to bring you some really really good photos and video material for You've been watching a podcast called The Making of Hillbilly Blood, as seen on Hillbilly Blood. My name is Trapper Jack. Thank you for watching.